Okay, yes, another diffuser for you here. This one is an essential oil diffuser, 500 milliliter ultrasonic diffuser, humidifier for timer setting, seven color light aromatherapy, essential oil diffuser for essential oils for home and office, living room, yoga, spa. So, haven't taken this one out of the box, obviously, brand new. And this one holds 500 milliliters and why you never wait until opening to do it on video. But so we open it up and this is what you see. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab the bag, pull it all out together. Here's the inside bottom, little hole in the bottom. Make sure nothing else is in there. Say for example, a measuring cup. 100 milliliters, even though this one's a 500 milliliter. You measure 100 milliliters at a time. And I'm assuming this is the plug-in for it. So hold on. Put this back together. Let's set it out of the way. Okay. So first, we're going to open this. So we have the actual plug-in ready. Twisty tie rope. It's a twisted tie, so I'm just gonna okay, undo the twisted tie real quick. Okay, we got that. We're gonna move it back so you can see everything clearly. Pull it out of the box. Make sure you've been upside down apparently, because pull it from the top, then everything separates. As let's see. Okay, so we got assuming. This says, thank you for your purchase. We hope you're satisfied. Don't hesitate to contact with email in here and a code. So that's that. These, I would assume, are directions. As you can see, wonderful directions. Kind of follow them sometimes. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is open and take off the cover. And since I don't wanna flip it over once water's in it, the plug-in's right there, as you can see. Plug this into there. Perfect fit. And then we can plug it in so that part's done. Okay. See this? We got the inside. There is the max line. Can you see the max line? There we go. Okay, so we don't want to put more water than that in. So we're just going to put in about 150 to 200. No, 250, sorry about that. Just so it's not overflowed and we can get an actual idea of how it works. Okay, then we want to put in the essential oils. Okay, so how much does this one say? Add more than five drops of essential oil to the water according to your request. So it's a 500 milliliter, so I would assume we're five. Don't know how many I actually put in. Okay. So next, we want to put on the cover. Here's the cover. Nice little round thing. By the way, if you put it on the counter, you're actually putting it on the middle things. So it's not quite balanced. It's a little off center. Let's see, hold on. So it's a little bit off the ground, but it will stay up. Okay. So take it and put the lid on. Make sure. Everything is sealed all the way around. Okay. And then we want to turn it on. So we got on. And there's supposed to be two modes of lighting. I'm going to turn it off real quick so that you can see what the color looks like right now, which is very slim to none lighting on there, obviously. Most of it's around the buttons at the bottom. So, right here you can check it to one hour, three hour, six hour, or continuous until it stops running. And here, it's probably the changing for the colors. Oh, wait. Where are the changing for the colors? So, it's got the mood lighting, seven different colors, and strong seven color LED 
is supposed to be that when you turn on the switch. So I guess we're seeing more right now. But basically, seven color LED is on right now. So, because if we turn it off, you get the thing turned off. So apparently, this is the bright the colors. As bright as the colors get, which kind of sucks compared to the other ones, because you like the prettiness of them. And there's quite a bit of mist coming out the top. So I don't think you guys can see the mist. Hold on. See mist? There we go. We got it now nice and strong. So, and I can smell it quite well too from here. So, put it back here. This is actually a replacement from when I got prior to starting to do the videos because it leaked water all over the counter. So, they sent me a replacement. So, since I learned my lesson the first time, what I'm going to do is put it on the top of a plate, let it run until it's empty. And then we will come back and check on it and see if it's leaked any water anywhere. Just so everyone knows if this is safe for the surface or not. All right, I think that would be everything for this one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and now that it's been running for close to probably five or six hours, there's the light. And I have looked at it a few times. Unlike the last one, there is no moisture underneath. Completely dry. Nothing there. Dry, dry. And then there's nothing on the top of the diffuser. So it ended up actually not having any residual. The original one I got had puddles underneath it. So I did get a return. I exchanged it, and this one works perfectly. Thank you. That's all.